classifications of control system. At the end of this lesson, you will be able to classify control system. Explain the different types of control systems. In the previous topic, we have learned that the concept of control system plays a dynamic role in controlling the systems in order to achieve the desired output. Some systems have to be controlled manually, whereas some systems can correct its output automatically. This shows that not every system is of the same type. Therefore, they have to be classified. Let us see the classifications in detail. Control systems are classified as open loop and closed loop control systems, linear and non-linear control systems, time invariant and time varying control systems, continuous and discrete control systems, single input, single output and multi-input, multi-output control system, lumped parameter and distributed parameter control systems, static and dynamic control systems, open loop and closed loop control systems. To understand the open loop systems, let us consider the working of an electric hand dryer and an electric lamp. The dryer continues to operate as long as the hands are placed under the machine, no matter how dry the hands get. To be simpler, let's take a normal light switch. When a light switch is turned on, the light glows continuously unless it is turned off, no matter whether the natural illumination is adequate or not. Here, there is no feedback to turn on or off the light. Such systems are called as non-feedback systems or open-loop systems. From the examples, you can understand that if the output of the system has no effect on the input signal, then the system is called as the open-loop control system. As a result, the open loop control system may not function as desired due to various reasons such as the changing environment, changes in the system parameters and due to the inefficiency of the system components used. Thus, a separate system is required to monitor the system output in order to obtain an optimum result. Consider the modern technology air conditioners which are designed to function based on the room temperature. It can automatically start to cool the room if the temperature of the room exceeds the set temperature of the air conditioner using the temperature sensors. Here, an input signal is fed to the system and the output is generated. A separate device called sensor is used to supervise or monitor the output of the system and the required adjustments are made to the input based on the generated output. Such systems are called as the feedback or the closed loop control systems. Linear and non-linear control systems Consider a purely resistive network which is powered with a variable DC source. Its voltage versus current characteristics is a linear line because it obeys the principle of superposition. Such a system is called as linear system. To understand the non-linear control system, let us consider a DC generator which is running at no load. The magnetization curve which is plotted against the air gap flux and the field 
MMF of the generator is shown. Initially, the curve is linear, but later on it gets saturated, which shows the non linear behavior because it doesn't obey the principle of superposition. Such system is called as a non linear system. Time invariant and time varying control systems. To understand the time invariant system, let us consider a musical keyboard. Here, the loudness of the played note is proportional to the force given to the keyboard, which doesn't change with the time. Hence, the system is called as the time invariant system. But in the case of vehicles, its mass reduces with respect to time based on the fuel consumption during the ride. Hence, it is called as the time variant system. Continuous and discrete control systems. Let us consider a DC motor. It is operated with a continuous DC supply. Such system is called a continuous control system. Whereas, in case of stepper motor, it is operated with discrete pulses such that it rotates in discrete steps. Hence, such system is called a discrete control system. Single input, single output and multi-input, multi-output control systems. A system which receives only one input and gives only one output is called as the single input, single output system. For example, let us consider the well-known radio system. Here, the radio system employs only one antenna at the radio station to transmit the signal and the device radio uses a single antenna to receive the signals. Hence, the radio system is a single input, single output system. But in case of a robot, several motors are there to operate different parts of it. Each motor needs to be energized separately. Hence, it is called as the multi input, multi output control system. Lumped parameter and distributed parameter control systems. In a long electric transmission line, the voltage across and the current through various points of the conductor varies as it has distributed inductance and capacitance. Hence, the behavior of this system can be described by the partial differential equation. These kinds of systems are called as distributed parameter control system. But in case of short transmission line, the same parameters are represented in the lumped form so that the behavior of this system can be described by the ordinary differential equation. These kinds of systems are called as lumped parameter control system. Static and dynamic control systems. To understand static control system, let us consider a windmill which is not employed with speed governor. In such case, the speed of the induction generator is the function of the wind speed. Here, the wind speed is the input and the frequency of induced EMF in the induction generator is the output. As the output variations depend on the input wind speed, the system is called a static control system. A best example for dynamic control system is a counter where the count displayed is based on the previous input to the counter. From this, we can infer that the control systems can be classified based on their behavior. Summary This brings us 
to the end of the lesson. We have learnt classifications of the control system in detail.